So welcome everyone my, on my session. Uh, and I lost my presenter, of course. Uh, yeah, so first uh, mark your calendar for, we hope, uh, live uh, on-site uh, event. Uh, before we go to uh, to the details of the session, thanks for all our sponsors. Without them, this this event, even if it's only virtual, wouldn't be possible. So many uh, work, so without them, it wouldn't be possible. Okay, and a few words about me. Yeah, I'm Marcin Siewnicki. Uh I'm from Poland, from Warsaw. Well, I'm Office 365 for. Microsoft 365 uh, architect and consultant. I work in ISCG. Uh, I've been working with SharePoint since 2006 or maybe five. So it's a long time. So in fact, I'm a SharePoint guy. Uh, for the last few years, uh, I work with modern workplace in Office 365 with SharePoint online with Teams and with Power uh, Power Platform. So that's uh, that's why the this session uh, today. Uh, yeah, yeah. Remember to enter uh, our raffle. We are giving away free Oculus quests all in one. So uh, definitely worth it to to enter and to answer some questions. Uh, before we start, uh, please consider uh, donating uh, to the following charity. Reliefs United Way or uh, International Medical Corps. So they fight uh, without current situation, without current virus. So let's start and help them. OK. Uh, so quick agenda here. So I will tell you and I will definitely show you uh, what is um, AI Builder. Uh, I will show you. Uh, some features and functionalities that you can find inside. Then, and you know, the most of the uh, of the session uh, live demos. So we will try to build some uh, some model. Try to use this uh, AI in, in uh, real uh, power apps and power automate also. And then I will talk a few words about use cases and when to use it. About limitations, what to use if it's not enough for us. OK, so what is AI Builder? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, that set of capabilities inside Power, Power Platform uh, that uh, allows you to add intelligence to your apps. But what is more important, to, even if you have no coding or data science skills, uh, the, last, the last line is very important uh, because with AI Builder, we can go uh, without any skills, without any practical experience in data science, data mining, uh, artificial intelligence, and build or add uh, intelligence to our uh, power up or our flow in Power Automate. Power Automate. Uh, uh, if we go back and I will show my screen somewhere. Uh, Uh, if we think about AI and uh, AI Builder, uh, it's a great tool, but if if we don't have access, sorry, my mouse just. Okay. Sorry, I have some problems with mouse. I must switch it to another. Huh. OK, now it should be working. Uh, so uh, without AI Builder, what we can do if you want, if you would like to add some intelligence to our power apps or our flow or our, our business application, uh, well, we can go to Azure services and create machine learning model, train it and use it in our application. Is it easy? Uh, well, it's not easy. As you can see, it's some very simple <laughs> sample model uh, for uh, prediction. Uh, to, do, to use this model, well, we have some Azure uh, skills, we have data science skills, maybe R language, maybe Python, 
a uh, lot of work, a lot of knowledge required. So a lot of uh, requirements. Uh, no, the one step closer to uh, to AI for everyone, uh, for citizen development, uh, is computer vision. Uh, it's a set of features that you can find in Azure also, mm, but this time, this time, uh, we don't need to create uh, models with, in Python or with other languages. We can use a predefined set of uh, uh, cognitive services to, um, for example, um, translate text or find or detect sentiment in text. If we go here, uh, we have some, uh, yeah, some demo page. We can uh, put some text. And it will detect sentiment inside this text. Yeah, it's positive. Uh, and this one, is it work? Uh, yep, negative. And we can use use these uh, cognitive services in our power apps, uh, but it requires Azure services and require uh, you know, uh, working with JSON file and to know how to send information to Azure, get back in, uh, information, aut authenticate, aut authorization, uh, handle a lot of a lot of things. So it's it's possible, but required additional skills, maybe an uh, additional uh, team member or members. Uh, but thanks to AI and thanks to this that we can add uh, intelligence to our apps without code or without coding or data science skill, it's a huge step forward to bring AI to almost everyone. Of course, at the beginning, it's not, we don't have access to all features and functions available in Azure Cognitive Services or Machine Builder in Azure, but let's let's check what's inside this, uh, this, this product, this service. So AI Builder is positioned as as a background, as a key element behind the power power platform. So we have uh, data connectors that we can use to connect to data, get data from many sources, common data service to for uh, to to store data, and AI builder to to intelligence to add some intelligence to our our applications. Okay. So inside uh, AI builder, well, we have two. The AI Builder is uh, split into two uh, functional areas. One is uh, custom AI models. We have custom uh, models uh, that require trainings. And the other part, the other area is with pre-built AI models. Currently, we have uh, seven pre-built models we can use without any training. Uh, so it's pretty uh, straightforward and really fast. So for custom models, uh, we have category classification when we can detect some categories inside text. Uh, we have entity extraction. Using this, this model, we can uh, explore text and detect uh, patterns and business models inside our text. We have form processing, very, very useful and very powerful uh, model for uh, processing forms. We can use this example for uh, processing invoices, even with hands writing text. Uh, object detection, which allows us to uh, uh, detect objects on images, on f pictures, photos. And prediction model, we can use this to predict, uh, predict some, uh, some values uh, based on historical data. And Pre-built models. These uh, seven models. Uh, so business card reader. So as it says, uh, it's uh, ready to use model to scan and to uh, analyze business cards. Category classification the same as uh, for custom, but with predefined uh, trainings, and the same for entity extraction. Key phrase extraction, it's a model that allows us to read the text and get some key phrases that you know, uh, 
basically allows us to understand the, the, the meaning of the entire text. Language detection, we can put some text, analyze text, and we get language uh, uh, for this text. Sentiment anal analysis, it uh, allows us to detect sentiment uh, for specific uh, text. And text recognition, so simply OCR that recognize text from pictures or photos. And that's mostly all from, <laughs> uh, I don't have another important slides for now. So let's go and switch to, to demo. So at the beginning uh, to, to go to our uh, AI builder functions and features, I have to go to office.com portal. And then if I go to Power Automate or Power Apps portal, let's start with Power Apps. Okay. So left hand menu, there's a section called AI Builder. And we have Build and Model sections here. In Build, Uh, that's the main, main panel of the AI Builder. I have the uh, custom uh, models section here and below uh, pre-built model section. Uh, so from here, I can create model or start using the pre-built models. Uh, there's also a section models. And here I can find all created uh, custom models before in draft mode or in training status or published. I was going to go back to this build. Uh, so uh, I will start from pre-built models because they are very simple to use. And let's start from let's say sentiment analysis. Yeah. So I, if I click this, I have two options. I can use this this model uh, in my flow in Power Automate, or I can use it inside my Power Apps. Uh, okay, so th those two links points me to documentation, but to use this, I can go here and create some app. Okay, new app. Let's say table layout, bigger screen. OK, uh, so how can I use these pre-built models? I would like to analyze some uh, some sentiment for, for my text. So I will insert some label and maybe some input. Yes, and here, if I type AI Builder, I get AI Builder with, with what? Why does not? Oh, and with all pre-built models that I can use directly as a functions inside my, my Power Apps. So I don't need to configure anything uh, from Power Apps uh, Admin Center or Power Automate Center. Just open Power Apps and start building your app and you get these, these functions ready to use. Of course, uh, the licensing, license, licensing, uh, part is uh, also important, but I will talk about this uh, at the end of the um, of the session. So I analyze sentiment. Okay, here I can put some text. Let's say for text input text uh, input. Yes, and I would like to add this text. And what sentiment? Good. And if I start this and type some text, yeah, text input it's neutral, so that's pretty uh, normal. Mm. I love the virtual marathon, so it should be well positive. Good. I'd hate traffic jam, and that's negative. That's true. As you can see, it's pretty fast. It 
took only a second to, to verify this, uh, this text. So it's uh, it's easy to use, fast. If I say something more, so I can also uh, no create a bigger box with text and uh, test uh, entire paragraph or even a pages to detect sentiment. Uh, but the best uh, best practice is to uh, to uh, analyze shorter text not to entire pages or books because uh, that's not the point uh, it's it's great if you want to uh, analyze or detect sentiment inside uh, comments inside uh, issue, e emails with issues uh, for service desks etc so that, that that's the, the the whole idea for this and we should stick to the uh, best use cases here but as you can see it's Analyze sentiment text and just it. Sentiment works pretty fast. Mm, I can also go here and if I here with Agriculture uh, and try other um, other uh, functions. Let's say the text language. Uh, okay, text input one and language. Good. So it should detect language from a phrase here and go up English. Definitely, I will write something in Polish. Uh, yeah, PL, so it's definitely Polish. Um, Well, the, yeah, this word uh, is it's also definitely in Polish. It's not a language with, that, with this kind of words. Uh, so it works. Tangle. Oh. And yes, that's correct. So I can easily check uh, check language inside my Power App and about uh, and ba based on that result, I can modify some other part of my of my of our of our our application so based on text input we can display dedicated interface or user interface or something uh, or other parts and if we go back here and check ai again we can we can easily go here and uh, go here and uh, test uh, extract key phrases, text entities, categorize text. So pretty simple, very straightforward. Well, nothing here to add. Uh, but as you can see, it's because it's very simple. You don't need to modify any or, or configure anything outside the Power Application. You can go here, type, use it as a function. So no additional uh, requirements here. But if you go go back to our power apps portal and click the same sentiment analysis i have also option use in a flow so i can not only use this in power apps but i can use in my flow in power automate if i click this uh, unfortunately i i'm pointed to the uh, template page with three templates ready to use First one is very interesting because it uh, analyzes uh, email messages and if it's fr from our uh, manager and uh, it uh, detects sentiment and send, <laughs> send us a score. So that's, that, that's funny use of this. But if we go to this one, yeah, let's say I continue. But I don't want to check emails. I will simply uh, maybe use it in different way. But we 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 have here uh, this this action predict. Uh, as you can see, it's with icon from uh, command data service. And fortunately, unfortunately, it requires um, premium features. Uh, but we can. Uh, select any pre-built models that we have uh, inside the AI Builder. In this time, it's sentiment analysis model. 
model. Uh, language, so we have we can check uh, the language with this uh, object detection model before or type it as a string and then text so we can analyze text in our uh, in our flow. Mm, to show you how it works, I will quickly yeah have some time. Uh, I I will click quickly create new form. I will call it mm, feedback. Uh, no sessions. Yeah. Uh, and some rating, and I add some rate the session and add some comments. This is a long answer. Yeah, so very simple form. I go to settings and enable it as uh, oh, my cat is trying to interrupt me as anonymous. So anyone can answer and go here and copy this link and yeah, so I can I have some Microsoft form here and I would like to uh, allow people to, to answer to, to fill out the, the, the form, but I would like to get additional information if the sentiment of this text uh, is negative. So I would like to check this sentiment after after submission. Uh, so I have my my flow. I will start with when the response is sub. I just remove this. So all of this is not required, and so I will only. Okay. Like this. Oh. Uh, so I will pick the sessions. Then I will get the session details. The response detail session and uh, this one. Okay, and inside this this predict action, I would like to analyze, uh, add some comment. Okay, save. I will use AI sentiment. Awesome. Better name. Okay. I will go here and try to fill this form. It's definitely positive text. I submit it and go back here to my flow and yep, succeed. If I go here uh, to institute details, I see that this action. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the text global positive score uh, one and global sentiment positive. So this this action analyzed my text from the from the Microsoft form and it's positive. So great. And if I submit a other and let's say mm, very boring speaker. I, uh, I'm going to watch Netflix. Yep. OK, so let's see. Let's see this one. That's already finished. And predict. Predict. And yeah, definitely negative score. So that's true. So based on that simple, uh, simple action, well, in fact, very simple. I have only uh, two options. Yeah, language and and text that I want to analyze. Uh, I get the, 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 the sentiment for this text. And as you can see, you can use also a uh, category classification, entity extraction, key phrase that extraction, language detections, um, object detection, but it's proposal, sentiment uh, and text recognition model. Uh, so all of this uh, ready to use all of these uh, Pre-built models you can easily use uh, inside uh, inside Power Apps as a function and inside Power uh, Flow Power Automating Flows uh, as 
as a parameters in, in predict action. So very simple, very straightforward, and as you can see, very uh, powerful and useful. And we can, uh, we can imagine a lot of uh, scenarios when we can use this, uh, this feature. OK, that's for pre-built models. Uh, but let's go to and check the custom models. Uh, this name custom, uh, uh, for me, it's not the best, the, the best definition because it's not fully custom models. Uh, they are predefined and only customization here is that we need to train uh, those models. So get some data, pictures, images, texts, uh, historical data and tell the model what we want to analyze and and how. Uh, but we don't have any option. We can't change uh, any code behind this, uh, inside these models. So if it's for form processing, it won't analyze anything else. Uh, if it's object detection, we can't modify it to analyze uh, the, I don't know, uh, video files. Yes, so that's custom, but in uh, with with some limitations. Okay, so I will start with object detection because it's funny for me, and I had some uh, use cases last uh, well this year. Uh, so I, we uh, we have to put some name here. Let's say um, cars. I have some cars now. Uh, okay. We create. Yeah, and we have some uh, preview how it works and what we can achieve with this. Uh, okay, we so first thing we we must define uh, what type of objects we are looking for. So I will say, say well, R, mm, and that's all for the demo purposes. And now uh, for each of these tag, I can add many tags, so many car, trucks, bicycles, whatever I need. Uh, for each of these objects, I need to provide at least 50 images to train this model, to even start with it. Uh, the better results, as you can read here, is at least 50 images. So it's a lot and a lot of work for, uh, at the beginning, but I will start to upload some files from uh, ho, ho, ho. AI Builder cars. I have 15 images. Okay. Okay. Upload. I can upload those images from my uh, desktop, from my uh, SharePoint site, uh, even from uh, Blob Storage from Azure or from database. So, yeah. So we don't we don't uh, have to stick with uh, desktop files and local files. OK, 15 uploaded. Good, 50 images should be should be good. And now the most important part and. We can't skip this. We have to go to each of the picture and select the object we want to uh, analyze that we, and uh, assign a tag for this object. So uh, this is a car, so well, it's definitely a car. Uh, and next one, we can add uh, many objects, many uh, many tags uh, on, one, on one photos, on one image, but still we have to go through the entire collection. Uh, yes, car, next one. This is also car, definitely. So I have six, I need 15. So let's go. This is also a car. Up a red one. So if we can create the tags that we that we need. We can search for brands, for objects, for uh, some patterns, but we have to train this model. Uh, I will skip. Yes, yeah, skip this one. What's happened here? 
So let's skip to I. Ah, okay. Okay, three more. Next one. And the last one goes to this beautiful red dodge. Okay, 15 cards. Tagged. And now. Train. Uh, so, yeah, go to models. And this cars mode model mode is in training stage. Training status, so we, we have to wait. Uh, for this. Uh, uh, 15 images it shouldn't be uh, too long, let's say uh, 20, 30 seconds, maybe one minute, uh, but the more we add here, the, 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 the longer the, the model we need time to, to do this. Okay, so it's training, training. If I go inside, no. Uh, so let's wait a few more minutes and in the meantime, I will go back to my application and remove this. Okay. I can close my forms here. And it's training again, still training. I will show you how it looks uh, with images. Images, yeah. I trained this model a few, few hours ago. And Inside, I can see uh, uh, performance score. So, how accurate this model actually is. This 100 is well, it, almost impossible. So, there is probably a bug or uh, some glitch here. But I can test this model. So, yeah, input, uh, upload image, and check how it works. But I want my training still training. Okay. So in the meantime, if I go to my power up, uh, there's a dedicated uh, inside insert section. There's an AI builder option, and I have four uh, selections here. Uh, text recognizer, object detector, form processor, and business card reader. Uh, if I use object detector, because I want to test this one and make it a little bigger, how about my model? Still training. That's not good. It should be done. OK. And as you can see, if I insert this, this, this object, there's an AI model property. And if I click the select model, I can simply go here and find any trained and published models. Uh, if I click refresh, yeah, it's not not ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't want to wait here, so I use my uh, my ready model. Uh, this image is based on model basis on uh, 15 images for cars and 15 images for trucks. So I have two tags inside this model. Uh, but because that one is ah trained, good. So if it's trained, go to details, and I can publish this model. So I can use it or I can even share it with my with my team, uh, and we can all use this model inside our apps. Okay, publishing. If I go to my power up and refresh, yeah, car, cars mode, click here, and bah, it's here. I can go and, well, click, detect. I need to upload image. Uh, let's say this one. Okay, kind of, oh, oh, great, I can, the model detects uh, free detect free one to three cars. Well, pretty with this one it could be better, but okay, car is car. Uh, but I would like some more details. Uh, so how to get this more details about this uh, about this the results here? I have this object detector one object. 
I can insert uh, what data table and but not here put it here and as the items I can provide object detector one uh, what here grouped results and this is a table type so I can edit fields add fields object count tag name that's all yeah great I have uh, recognized three objects and three of them are cars car car so great three cars so I can go and upload any other picture and uh, this one okay so this one is with truck so let's see okay car well definitely uh, go for other uh, no I a lot of cars here this one yeah there's a lot of cars maybe not a lot ah yeah we have one car from uh, from them from the sky view so that's well a pretty intelligent uh, model it detect even from this uh, angle so well I'm happy about this but uh, cars mode, yeah. Uh, I've used only uh, 15 images, so that the baseline, the basic, uh, I tested only basic uh, version of this. So, uh, if you want to have a more accurate model, detect more mm, objects, more cars, like in, in this uh, example, uh, you should uh, provide much, much more uh, images. And in fact, in real life, you should train this model uh, continuously so adding additional additional cars testing use application and if you find something that's you know uh, not properly recognized train it again if I go back to my model if I go here to details I can I have option edit model so I can go here okay next I can add additional tags let's say trucks and uh, bikes and I can add, add, add additional images and for each of these tag I need to provide 15 at least 15 images and tag the uh, the object on the image so a lot of work but definitely worth it I will show you also um, I predefined and uh, now maybe I will switch the model because this test model on uses only one tag and uh, this this one images model and uh, there's current track so two tags inside uh, so if I try and run this model okay so mm -hmm. AI Builder uh, easier. Okay, so three sports cars. Yeah, three cars. None of them are uh, is track. But if I choose this this funny collage with one old style track, so yeah, two track, two cars and one track, so it works. Uh, so you can use this this kind of uh, up intelligence to detect objects uh, on your in your application in your in your power app uh, as an input as uh, for detecting objects inside uh, I mean from uh, from photos from your camera so a lot of possibilities but as you can see it required training so we have to train this before we can use it uh, if we trained it uh, with bad uh, data, it will detect bad in, in bad uh, bad objects. Yeah, so that's so we, we are responsible for for training, and that's the the point here. And I will also show you the the other part, uh, other type 
Tak. Brother, no, 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 next, not next. Uh, yeah, I can go here. Uh, at least, yeah, build. So this is object detection. We can also use prediction, but we provide uh, historical data uh, to train this model for, for uh, entity extraction and category classification. We have also we also need to provide uh, texts uh, to train with categories, with entities, with definitions. Uh, and for for processing, I will show you how it could work. Let's say uh, I use invoices, but uh, form processing. And yeah, so I there's a hint that I need to add documents. Uh, you can find sample documents on Microsoft uh, Document Docs uh, site, but I upload from Rock. Uh, I've already downloaded them. D -d -d -d. Uh, yes, train. Uh, yeah, five examples. OK, great. Uh, and well. Select all. Analyze. And well, pretty similar process as with object detection. Currently, the AI they analyze documents and will try to recognize uh, as many parts as he as he can. But we, we will have to you know, validate uh, those results and add some corrections, modify the, the detection. Okay, it will take a while. Okay, so. Uh, ah, yeah. I can go and check this one, this invoice. And yes, it's, you know, if this one is OK, this one, so it's balanced view. So based on the internal code and this uh, predefined model, even if it's custom, it out, it's trained to automatically detect uh, invoice patterns. And this one, and this one, good. And we, we must confirm that. Done. Then field selected, next. Five images and train the same the same uh, step as as before. So yeah, go to details page and okay, it's trained. Uh, we can click here, click here and make some quick test. Uh, I have some test. Okay, test document. Yeah, and it recognized all required fields. Good. So I go and publish this one. Yeah, we have a, a few more minutes, so I will show you the uh, how to use this and what we can uh, achieve using this form processing. Uh, okay, so I go back to my uh, power up and remove this table and object detector so we have a clean clean page for our application yeah use model i can use this model uh, and again i can use this model inside my uh, application in, inside power up or inside flow in power automate so i can choose what i want and what my scenario requires i don't want to use this i my i use this uh, I insert the, the uh, object from uh, Power Apps directly, so I choose Form Processor. And the same as before, I can choose uh, any published and trained model from, from the pane. It's Form Processing. Good. That's, well, that's it. Let's say I will, yeah, how it works. Click Analyze and choose a test document. We load the invoice, the PDF with the invoice. And well, 100% that's well, fantastic score. Good. Uh, 
that that it shows me that you know uh, the selected the recognized box uh, with with score but i want more i would like to uh, to display this in in some better way let's say in text fields i would so i need to reference to my object form processor one and i have what i can go to results and let's say invoice yep and it's record so i would like to page number even value and i have this one so it's uh, invoice number so i can do the same uh, in for each each data i need to display here i can also you know submit uh, those data to my cds to my database to whatever i want to create i can or even create a, a sharepoint uh, list item with with those data so it, it's, it's up to me and up to my requirements and uh, but what about stable because tables and in on invoices that's the always a tricky part i used to work with abby uh, flex capture and it's and it wasn't so easy to create a, a flexible form recognizer. It was a pain, uh, but because it required a lot of uh, knowledge and you know, uh, must know this product very very good to be very well to be uh, to go with, to, with ease. Okay, so I have table, so I still can reference to this form processor one. And this time I would like to get tables because this is definitely table. And table zero. Okay, there's more tables, so I could choose what I need. And I can add some fields. Uh, four fields, yeah. Amount, item, quantity, rate. Good. And but item would be first quantity would be second yep that's true uh was that amount and rate rate would be third and as you can see you know i have a table with items from here with values you can sort it well, work with those data that's well fantastic but let's say uh, check how it works with uh, okay but where is it with handwritten form that's the okay so i that's my 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 writing uh i created uh yesterday so this is the uh, same pattern same invoice pattern but with my uh, typing here and well table nails i have this 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 form even if on my uh in paper version so yeah not the same so as you can see it's it can even recognize uh, handwriting so that's very powerful and well i didn't uh, write any 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 script here just use model upload uh, images upload pictures well and that's it that's really uh, simple straightforward and super easy okay so oh, we have um, one minute to go, uh, but let's talk about uh, licensing, what's very important, uh, and about, I must find my mm, presenter here. So yeah, for a quick uh, caption about use cases. Well, we can create app for invoices, vehicle maintenance, questionnaires, photo classification, and support ticket analysis, well, sky is the limit here. Of course, we can't uh, modify code behind those models, but they are very powerful out of the box. So, uh, so definitely worth to try. Uh, about licensing, we need to there's great page on the uh, on the Microsoft uh, website. Uh, so we need CDS for AI builder. So we need at least one uh, P1 license. And for using AI builder, we need to buy an AI capacity. Uh, one unit costs 500 
dollars per month and it allows us to um, create to use 1 million units so that they, we, we use these units in training so if we train we you know uh, burn utilization for here we use it uh, for testing for uh, and for use of applications but but uh, well you have to check this and if you have p1 license that's all only need to provide uh, capacity for this ai builder if you want to try you can simply try the trial for 30 days uh, so quick caption uh, it's definitely true for citizen developer no code very fast a lot of capabilities uh, we have predefined trained models so we can all use them out of the box within one minute and it's and it's working we have custom models but we need to provide uh, data for training we can use it in flows and in power ups and of course new features are on the way so uh, we should expect some additional models this year but we can't create model from scratch, so we can't modify the code behind the model uh, and we can't modify how it works. Uh, so we can't create from scratch and we can't modify the, the model itself. OK, and the last. Last page, you know, please go to. Microsoft page, uh, Microsoft site and read about this. Uh, there's predefined labs so you can download not uh, sample data, sample script, and simply use it. OK, so thanks for joining. If you have any question, type it on, on the chat. And it would be nice if you share feedback about this session and about the entire event.